Hello everyone and welcome back to Genie Crafts. In today's video, we are going to create a layered paper art and the theme is underwater sea scene. The template for this particular layered art I have downloaded from the website designbundles.net and I pasted the link in the description box and you can download the template from there. So guys, let's get started. So the first step is the selection of colors for the different layers and I have tried to match the colors as depicted uh, on the website from where I have downloaded the template. Also I have taken the printouts and I am going to position the printout on each of the colored pages and to hold the printout with the craft paper I am going to utilize paper clips and so that it remains in place while I am cutting it out. The way I have taken the printout is that you have to preserve the shaded areas and you have to cut out all the white areas. So that's very straightforward so that there is no confusion. And I'm utilizing these paper clips to hold the template in place with the craft paper. For the paper cutting, I am using the Olfa paper cutting knife as usual, which is my go to knife for majority of the paper cuts that I do. Also, the brand of paper that you see me using in this video is called paper pep and you can purchase it online through various online retailers the thickness of the paper is 220 gsm which is good for a layered paper art uh, i normally prefer 300 gsm because it keeps your layered art steady but 220 or anything above 200 also works just as good just that the steadiness of the craft increases as you go for the higher gsms now one tricky part about this particular uh, template that I downloaded from the website is that this particular specifically this layered art has a lot of curves uh, in its design. So that means that you have to continuously keep rotating your paper, keep moving your paper. You cannot keep your paper steady and keep moving your hand. Uh, as I have stressed in all of my paper cutting videos that it is always good to keep moving your paper. Also, there are slight techniques to keep swiveling your knife between your fingers when you are coming across a curve or a corner, which helps you to cut it easily. Because if you don't take all these precautions and don't use these techniques, then you're going to break your blade again and again and again. And you're going to go through a lot of uh, blades before you can complete your cut. And this particular uh, design has nine or ten layers so there is a lot of cutting that needs to be done so you have to follow the same process for all the layers uh, preserve the shaded areas and cut out the uh, white areas from the uh, template I completed this particular layered art uh, on a live Instagram session so I took almost about 2.5 hours to complete this in one stretch so from a difficulty perspective it's uh, medium to hard level difficulty mostly because of the type of cuts that are required in some of the layers but rest of the layers are fairly straightforward only the layers where there are seaweeds or you know some other sea plants that needs to be cut in that particular layer those layers are a little bit tricky but rest of the layers are straightforward so you should be able to do it as long as you're following the basic principles and good practices of paper cutting if you're following that you should be able to do it without any problems so in a similar fashion i have done all the layers after each layer when i have finished with the layers, so i cut the borders on the top and the bottom side and then i have numbered the uh, layer so that mostly because i know which particular number the layer is and also what is the front of the layer and what is the back of the layer so it's a good thing to do whenever you are doing any layered art as soon as you are done with that particular layer you always number it so that you don't forget the orientation of the particular layer uh, during the assembly the final assembly also as you can see in the video that after cutting out each layer i am assembling it against rest of the layers that i have already cut and see how the layered art is coming across it's a good practice to do this because you don't want to cut all the layers and then later on find that the layers are not working together or you have done something wrong so it's a good practice that once you have cut a layer you place it against rest of the layers that you have cut and see if it is coming out good or not so that's a practice that i always follow and recommend everyone else also to follow because it saves a lot of time in the end so i'm going to skip rest of the layers uh, i have followed the same process for all the layers and i'm directly going to the end once i have completed uh, all the layers and then how to assemble it to create a certain 3d effect by bringing gap across the layers 
So before I do the final assembly, let's do a dry run of the assembly. The base of the layered art is black paper on top of which rest of the layers go. So I'm just placing the layers one by one in sequence to see how the final look is going to come. If I'm happy with all the layers and the final look of the layered art, then I'm going to create the final assembly wherein I will create a gap between the layers with the help of the double sided tape. For the final assembly, I am utilizing double sided tape. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to cut small pieces of this double sided tape and place it on the corners definitely uh, on the middle of all the edges and then at rest of the places here and there so that the layer is properly balanced against the next layer and does not sag in the middle or bend in the middle because there is no tape to support it there. So I'm putting a small small pieces of tape uh, on the back side of the layer. Once I'm done uh, then I will be uh, you know pasting it with the uh, uh, layer below it but before that I normally prepare all the layers uh, before I start pasting the layers so I'm going to follow the same process for rest of the layers also. Once you've applied the double sided tape on uh, the back side of all the layers the next step is to peel off the protective covering of those tapes and then stick it to the layer below so start from the bottom most layer so you can see the blue layer at the background and the next layer is this green layer so take off the protective covering of the tape and then carefully align the layer with the layer at the below at the bottom and press it gently so that the tape sticks to the layer below repeat this process for rest of the layers till you have assembled all the layers So here's the final look of the layered art. I hope you guys found this video useful and interesting. If you guys like the video, then please do not forget to hit the like button and share this video with your friends. Also do subscribe to my channel for regular videos on art and crafts and I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Till then stay safe, take care and bye bye.